Okay, after uh, we get familiar with the user interface of Buildbox Classic, we want to making our game. The first step is importing the assets. You can go into add, import character, import object, import background, import action. I mean, for example, power actions in Super Mario way like that. I've explained them one by one. First, we want to need to insert our background. As, as, as you can see, I insert my background. First, you have to go into the new, going to uh, gameplay type, you have to first select what kind of you game plan you need. The basic game plan that we need is platformer. As you can see, if you hold your mouse on this screen, this um, icon, the platformer show you how it is this game. It's a character that jumping and going forward and we have some enemies, some platform and some background. Double click to insert the game because you have to choose them because the the most and important setting uh, will be set for us and we don't need to ask uh, changing them we begin uh, we, uh, we do not uh, to begin from zero from scratch from scratch it's very time consuming um, setting <coughs> settings uh, from scratch very hard and it's hard to beginners okay as you can see <clears throat> this is our uh, area that we are working out dropping our character and object on it you can zoom in and out for a scrolling mouse and you can pan with this is 2d this is what classic is just for making 2d games and you can uh, click and drag for pan this is y-axis, this is x-axis. As you can see, this is our stage, <coughs> start stage, one stage, two stage, we can add any stage. As you can see in stage, we have some enemy and platform. In a start, uh, the, the start stage, just uh, repeat one. When you click here, first play this game that introduce to what this game is. As you can see, this is a preview window that you can choose your phone size here. So, so don't worry about that size of that stage. This, this size of this stage is not size of your phone. The software export it automatically and it rescale it automatically for you to size of your. Uh, as you can see, it's automatically as uh, rescale everything to any size. <coughs> so we start as you can see. As you can see, this is our. Uh, a starter start stage that repeat just once and here you can go forward backward here you can jump we are in a cube uh, windows and we want to uh, move it with a arrow keyboard and with a j we can jump be careful your keyboard just have to be in english not any any other language to uh, act correctly as you can see i can jump and going to the stage one from here and going to the stage one <clears throat> and the stage one repeat and repeat and repeat again because i have just one stage and i will game over okay so <clears throat> you understand what is a stage you can create add a stage number two and uh insert your objects and your enemy your platform anything that's one in that stage so it's empty here is object manager this is the main uh, assets character objects effects or any kind of the important things are here that you can for example drag we, we have one main platform one main enemy that you can use it several enemy in that stage so this is object manager you can manage any object in a scene with that as you can see when you click on them they're showing object manager and you can click them we are in this system we want to talk about the background as like as you see we have the <clears throat> background that there are lock when you click on this icon you can lock it when you click on this icon you can uh, disappear or dis uh, disappear the background or any object like this as you can see so we click again to unlock them 
This is our background. When you click that, uh, we have a handle to change the position. Uh, when you click on any object in a scene, its properties appear here. You can change its properties. If you click on a background, you can change the properties of background. You can move it uh, in a uh, <coughs> X axis. Mm, it does not move uh, because it's in a tile. I told you now. And but you can move it in up and down. Here you can change the position manually in X and Y. As you can see, I changing the Y axis. This is Y. And you can rotate it. For rotating, uh, you have to hold, uh, bring your mouse over these handles and hold Alt, the mouse change. And as you can see, you can, with the click, we can, we can click and drag to rotate. As you can see, this is our uh, frame of work. The background or any object will be cut, especially the backgrounds. You can hold any object in any uh, space, but the background will be cut off. Here you can reset the rotation with zero and hit enter. You can change the scale by, you can uh, hold most or uh, enter uh, this area, in this circle and change the position. You can uh, scale it, as you can see, for uh, scaling with proportional or uh, aspect ratio, you have to hold and shift and scale it. I will reset my background and explain more. We have opacity, I will explain you. I want to tell you, uh, let's bring our background. This is platform, you can change the platform. Let's bring our background. Okay, I delete this background and I want to insert I, my background from scratch. You can uh, insert it from here, from background and choose a background from your uh, PC or you can click and drag. I prepare a folder that has a lot of background on it and I want to uh, insert it. I want to make a Western game, Western 2D game that a girl that uh, running and shoot the enemy. So I insert the background that it's like this. It's a tileable background because they are want to repeat and repeat again at the background and they have to be designed in the tile. But you can design it in the Photoshop, <coughs> Illustrator, Corridor, or any 2D graphic uh, graphic software. But you have to make it tileable. I show. I I'll show you. What is tile about? You can simply click and drag. As you can see, you can uh, insert as a character. Insert as a, you can select it in the four main. Oh, bring it here to. You can right click to cancel it. We have something like uh, action. I've explained to you. You say you can insert by insert this uh, as a character. We have to insert it as a background release and uh, it's insert in <clears throat> your scene here our platform I can move it down move it down I want to delete enemies in uh, in a more stage I can delete the stage by hitting delete I <clears throat> delete enemy that I want to game over you can uh, insert your platform anything. So we insert, this is our box of frame. As you can see, this is a box of frame. We need something like platform to walk on. I change it. But here I want to, this is our cra character. This is our background. You can change it. I want to bring it, make it <clears throat> little upper. And as you can see, I delete that. As you can see, this is our background. You can, uh, <clears throat> larger your screen this is not important because the screen your uh, screen of your I can yes the screen of you can uh, show game frame you can uh, show it as you can see you can show game frame this is our uh, smartphone or tablet this is size of our smartphone or tablet you can bring it you can <coughs> change change the length of the start as you can see, when you character run here, it's go here. Done. It's not more important. Okay. Uh, so this is our game frame, and as you can see, this is a tile. 
and you increase the <clears throat> size okay you can see this uh, those lines here the background that you the design repeat repeat and repeat to the end we have all background in our all game you can insert a different background in different stage but there are inter you have to go to another world i will explain you that. Select on it going on a uh, opacity. You can increase or reduce your opacity between zero and one. As you can see, you can insert another background uh, back of it. For example, I will insert this background again. And as you can see, this is our background. This is exactly uh, like a Photoshop. The higher object will be show the higher in here. As you can see, the, those are the higher. The character is a higher. This platform is a higher in a, this hierarchy or this in the object manager. So this is our new background. Bring it, click and drag to back of the main background. And because we have, uh, if you, or your opacity is one, you cannot see the background below that if you reduce the opacity for example half you can see the background below that okay delete that here you can see your image or insert your image and you can go into a sprite editor you can change your name here or change name here you can change the brightness a little bit you can change the contrast you can change the hue or saturation make full full more color in it okay you can give it more saturation and save it you can uh, do a little adjustment with the color in a sprite editor we have all kind of 2d image in this, in this game that we insert we are here as you can see all of the background that you enter will become here and this is our object manager this is the background let's automatically uh, go to the background this is our uh, second uh, section start you can insert your folder for example uh, insert it to for example going here and change your group name and insert your for example character inside that and name it for example this is character folder and insert your all of character organized in this folder you can close it and this is our word uh, everything the manager is collect here okay so any background will be automatically at the background stage and you cannot uh, bring anything be beyond the backgrounds error <clears throat> okay so this is our stage length in a start you can change the length in any stage for example in a stage one i make a very big hole here when you apply and play as you can see if you play We're going here and we, we reach to the hole and an stage number one will be repeat and repeat and I explain. Okay. So be careful about that. As you can see, we have a start here, we a stage, we another stage, this stage, this platform is in a higher. You have to change them. You can select them and change them and explain how to insert your object. In this lesson, we will just talk about the background. So we have interesting things called a speed. As you can see, if we set it to the zero when we play, the background will be in a fixed. The, the background does not move anymore, as you can see. But if you set it a speed, for example, in a higher number, three and uh play again as you can see when you move the background will be um, a speed uh, opposite your movement of your character so the one is the best way 
the best number is one you can give a negative number for example negative two it's <coughs> move to other direction as you can see when we move the background are moving in this direction so one is nice here the tiling offset i told you that we have tiled the background you can uh, increase the number for example five pixel it is our pixel as you can see this is our tile background the background will be repeat and repeat and repeat so make it zero this is an strange in fixed rotation i don't use that but it's here when you're holding alt and rotate your background is rotate like this with if you activate the fixed rotation it rotate like this it's try to fix its rotation as you can see it's a strange effect will happen i don't know why but it's there or bring the rotation in a zero and hit enter okay this is all of sitting up background and we are going to the next tutorial hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release